things like primer and priming my eyelids and doing my brows. So that's all done here. All done. I'm just gonna take this blow shade. It's the shimmery one that I always use to just set down my primer, primer, concealer, but you know. That's our base. Now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to start with a transition color like I always do because it's important to start with a transition color so then everything seems like it blends seamlessly. I mean it does, it doesn't seem like it does. So I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna bring it more, the more the focus will be in this area right here rather than doing it out here because we're gonna do a reverse. I'm just gonna do focus everything in here. So I'm going to start with a matte brown shade as my transition. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Naked Basics Ultimate Basics. Cause I love it. I'm going back and forth between Faith and Lockout and just kind of building up the base of our look. Okay, that kind of makes it look like I got punched in the eye. <laughs> I didn't. I'm just kind of dipping my brush back and forth between the two of them and just throwing that shade on there. Throw in shade. <laughs> oh, that's gonna look so cool. Now I'm done with this palette. I'm going to take the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette. I know you can't get this anymore. I'm sorry, but I'm going to use it for this look. And look at this beaut. Look at her. She's so pretty. And I'm just going to take this kind of gray color right here and just do the same thing that I was just doing, but a little bit closer in to the crease. It looks so like deep and evil. I like it. I like it a lot. Blending, blending, blending. Keep those brushes blending. Blending, blending, blending. Brushes, brushes, brushes. Blend, blend, blend. Brush, brush, brush. What the fuck's wrong with me? <laughs> So I'm going into my Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette and I'm going to take the shade Vintage right here, which is an olive kind of shade and just do the same thing that we were just doing, but a little bit closer. I'm going to be looking like the Green Goblin's girlfriend or sister. Sister would make more sense, but girlfriend sounds cooler. So we're going to go with that. Just looks so cool. So I think that's all I'm gonna use from this palette. Thank you for your contribution. I okay, talk to my makeup because my makeup is my friends. My makeup are my friends. My makeups, I don't know. I like makeup and they're my friends because I don't really like people because they're just mean. So, you yeah, know. Now, I'm gonna use this flat but fluffy brush. That's the best way I can describe it. Doesn't really say what it is, it just has a number. So I'm going to go back into the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette and I'm going to start out with this shade all over my lid. Oh, I dipped in the wrong color. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? Do you ever just like go in on a palette and you're like, oh, wrong color. Good thing I have this guy. All right, I think I'm gonna, cause it's not like blending, I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush and use that same color and just to kind of like blend it so it's not like lid and then crease, like so separated. Can't we just all be friends? I just want us to all get along. And like little sunshine and rainbows. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> Comment down below if you know what that movie's from. It may not be a direct quote, but yes. Love that movie. And if you don't, then leave. Just leave. It's like my favorite movie of all time. Of all time. Yeah, of all time. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't leave. Please don't leave, come back. Subscribe, like, you. Ew. Now I'm going to take this pretty green shade right here out of the palette. What's going on? Freaking cat hair. Does anyone else have cats? And their freaking hair just like floats around everywhere and just always seems to end up in your eye. Like does your eye have a magnet for cat hair or something? I think so. 
So I'm gonna take some of that pretty bright green shade that reminds me of like a mermaid or something and I'm going to put that all over my lid like I just did with the previous color. Just creating this perfect deep emerald color for my lid. What if someone did their makeup like this side of their face first and then like went over to this side? Like that'd be so strange. So strange, you know? Hey look, I look like Barney. I have a purple shirt on with green eyeshadow. I love you, you love me, we're I don't know the words for it. Da, 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 da. Is that even the right song? The right show? I don't know, whatever. That's what it's looking like so far. I am going to go back in with my blending brush and take that gray color that we used before. It's like a dark gray. Just go back into the crease. Just being very close to that line. And then taking some of both of the shimmery colors, both greens and blending that in the crease because I want everything to blend seamlessly. And I'm actually going to go into my Urban Decay Electric palette and take some of this really bright lime green with the same fluffy brush and just clean it off obviously. And I'm just gonna see how it looks to put a little bit of that just in the center. Ooh, yeah, that looks really cool. All right, so we just take a little bit and just pat it in the center. That looks so pretty. That just gives it a pop, you know? So now I'm going to put some foundation on. Foundation's on, I look white as a ghost, and let's do some contouring. I think I'm gonna do like a really intense contour to kind of just make it be a little more dramatic. So I'm going to take my Tarte Park Ave Princess. And then I'll blend it out from there. Hopefully it'll work. I'm just gonna stick with my usual, my Real Techniques contour brush. Load on some product, like a lot of product and just go hard in the paint. So now I'm going to take, ooh yeah, this will work. I'm gonna take my cocoa powder from Went Wild and just go over this contour to make it even stronger. Just right here though. I'm gonna leave the rest of the, well, let's do a little bit. Yes! Look like I'm from like the, the, the game, <laughs> the games, the movie, no, it's a show, Ashley. The show, The Hundred. I look like I'm from the show, The Hundred, like the princess. Whoopsh. Or not, she wasn't a princess, she was a queen. Whatever. It's been a while since I've watched that show, okay? All right, and now for my lower lash line, it's gonna be super blown out. I want to look like I got punched in the eye, yes. But like, cool. Like, I feel like a superhero. That looks freaking awesome. All right, and I have this little Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Duo thing, and I'm gonna try and use the gold glitter. It looks like craft glitter. I don't know if this is safe for your eyes, but we're gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna just put a little bit right underneath the look. Ooh, that looks cool. Glitter is the herpes of arts and crafts <laughs> and makeup. And once you get it on there, you just can't get it off. But I am going to pop in some light shoes. What should we name her? Green Goblin's girlfriend should be named Gabriella. 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 I like it. I like it a lot. Now I'm gonna do some lamps. I'm going to do, I don't know why I always say lips like that, but it's just funny. So, the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Alien. Is that an alien? I'll put that all over my lips. I think I'm done. That is it for this look. Feeling like the Green Goblin's girlfriend. Really like this eye look. I really like this lip. So this was a really fun thing to do. It was a fun look to make. 
didn't know that it was going to turn out like this in the beginning. That's why makeup is so fun, because you never know what you're going to end up with. Do you like my one gray eye? Alright you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this Green Goblin's Girlfriend's face look, makeup look, whatever. If you want to see more weird looks like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. You can even turn on the little bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload, which is once a week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ready to go. Ready to go. So, alright, so, alright, so. Where are you at, girl? So I am going to. <coughs> what brush am I gonna use, though? What brush? What brush? Oh yeah, this one. <coughs> oh man, so weird. But I like being weird. Comment down below if you're weird and you like being weird. Cause whenever I say to people, "Oh, you're so weird," they're like, "No, I'm not. No, I'm not." I'm not weird. I'm normal. I'm like, why would you want to be boring? I wouldn't. I like being a strange person. Oh. <sighs> Good job, Ashley. Alright, so. That's like my um. Alright, so. Is my um. That's weird. Is that weird? I don't care. I like being weird. Frizzy ass hair. You know? Always. As I break everything. That's what I want. What I really, really want. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Ain't gonna do it. You can't make me. Okay. <coughs> Alright. Hey. Oh, why do I do that all the time? If I just left it like that.